on him until one day we call him not washing the dishes, but licking the clean. Anyways, not long after the. Guys, y'all should wait. Mega back with another video. Man. I know it's been a minute. Had a little time skip. You know what I'm saying? Had a little time skip, but we back. We better. You know, my life been a little bit busy. You know, but you would know if you follow my Instagram. Follow my Instagram. You wanna know what's going on in my life, but you know, should be kind of hectic. You know, a lot of shit's going down, but I'm back. You know, we back for good. We back in better. We back in blood. You know what I'm saying? And today, we're going to be reacting to your work confessions. This video is by D Generosity. And before I get into this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let me know what you want me to react to next in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Hello. It's D. It's a... That was my worst intro ever. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's I'm your not favorite. <laughs> back with another confessions video you and i know the gist by now you guys send me your confessions and i work read them while crying on the inside this should this be time interesting the topic was work confessions bad things or unusual stuff oh. that have place and i know half of you guys are unemployed but don't get me wrong you guys <laughs> still send me the good stuff some of your confessions were a little bit mild while at the same time some of your confessions were a little bit wild and at the end of the day i come to the same conclusion is that I hope all your bosses watch this video. Let's just get into it. <laughs> Not nah, darn with that face. What the hell? I don't got no damn job. <laughs> I work in a school as a student. One of my classmates made two holes in the walls of my classroom. You work in school as a student? Nigga. When did that become a job? I've been a student I work for in school as a student. My life and I never got paid squat. No, I, all these people, I, I don't know. I think a lot of these people are like young, like in high school and shit. I never saw a cent. I need my reparations. My brother's boss. That's technically that facts, season. though. We was technically working. We was, we've always been workers, if you really think about it. We used to work in school. We used to clock in in the morning and come out, you know, about three, four. Some people stayed later, you know, but we we was working. You know what I'm saying? Doing doing shit that we don't even use now. Shit we don't use outside of school. And that's, that's kind of real. This was giving people raises if they did the nasty, even the men. Second story, a Karen at a local McDonald's was mad her nuggets weren't out in time. It was a one minute wait and she threw a fit. She was also very obese. So she hurled her fat <laughs> over the counter and tried fighting the cashier. She didn't land one punch and she got punched once and was knocked out. Now cold. McDonald's Last is week, crazy, bro. Y'all see them vi videos of them fighting people at McDonald's, bro? I look you want to work at McDonald's just, just to witness that. Mad over curly <laughs> fries and pulled out a gun and started firing. Honestly, I'm still stuck at the first confession because did your brother like take the raise like I i'm not judging i'm not judging <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do in this life but did you take the raise like how big was the raise you know if it was like an extra ten dollars an hour with a free side of crazy bread and wings that, 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 that's, that's kind of tempting hey you gotta do what you gotta do but like everybody else doing it i might as well join in and for the curly fries one i, I kind of understand it when you order food and you expect a certain kind of standard to it and it comes back mid I'm gonna start going crazy on the spot. I'm not gonna lie, like these confessions is cool, but I need something, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh shit, you know what I'm saying? Cashier saying, let's play a little game I made. All you gotta do is pick a candy ball, one gotta play. Some people be serious about that curly fries. And the fat girl, yeah, whatever. More of the story. Yeah, that's like, okay, cool. You know, get in the raids. I work as a teller at my state's credit union. I once had a woman who was cleaning money from her account. She had a bunch of Zell deposits from her dad. But turns out her dad has been dead for six months. And she was pretending to be him. Withdrawing oh, from ATMs shit. and transferring money from his account to hers without permission. Needless to say, she didn't get the money. I'm having trouble understanding this confession. I mean, I might be stupid, but like, I'm still having trouble with it because... I don't see anything she did wrong. I mean, I bet this is marked as a crime under some random law somehow, but I, mean, I still don't see the nigga what she dead did wrong. and she her moving money from dead. his account what to her he account. Need the money for? Yeah. Who is she gonna ask for permission? His coffin? She gotta ask the bank for I mean, but technically don't doesn't like you can't do that though. But at the same he is kinda right. The money he dead. I mean, did did he have a will? I don't know. Maybe maybe he didn't. I don't know permission to her dad's money like why 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 does the bank need the money for like come on man you holding her up from showing off her motion and for what her dead dad that's not gonna use the money i don't see any problem with what she did i mean i bet if i did some research i probably would but i'm not i'm gonna be on her side blind i don't care go get your dead dad's money girl i used to work at kfc and for some reason my co-workers started putting like 10 squirts of mayo on every Ugh. sandwich that was ordered and this person provided Ugh. some evidence alongside with it too if i ever opened up my fast food bag and i see a mayonnaise sandwich has been replaced with my burger, even good i'm like chucking that. that sandwich back at that worker not gonna lie I no you won't that should make me want to vomit. Like, bro, who doing that, bro? 
Are y'all mayonnaise warriors, bro? Like, I swear mayonnaise ain't, ain't even good, bro. Like, <laughs> mayonnaise ain't even good, bro. <laughs> I don't even like mayonnaise. That shit look weird, nigga. Like, y'all y'all like that shit? You right, I won't. I worked as a waiter in this smaller little restaurant. After someone left, I picked up the dishes like a normal person would. There was this guy who worked in the back who would clean the dishes really fast, so everyone kind of relied on him. Until one day, we call him not washing the dishes. But licking them till they're clean. Anyways, not long after the <laughs> nah, what the? Uh, oh nah, that is, w bro. You know how nasty that shit is. He this person shut down to no surprise. Bro was just cleaning the leftovers off, making sure the place was spick and span. Bro was just doing his job, and the fact that y'all relied on him meant he was a diligent worker. He did nothing wrong. I mean, I wouldn't eat there, or let my family eat there, or let my friend. Bro, imagine you putting the dishes away. You see a nigga washing them, then every now and then you see a nigga just take a lick from the plate. <laughs> he just take a lick from the plate, bro. Ugh. Friends eat there, or let my dogs eat there, but hey. To each their own. Basically, I used to work in this Mexican restaurant. Reason I applied there, I always kept getting rejected by other places. McDonald's, Taco Bell, and you other places. You getting rejected from McDonald's? Jobs. Dang, nobody want you. But I was able to get a job at this restaurant for $3 an hour oh, as a lying. servant. Bro, you're not, you don't got a job. You're a slave. That is not <laughs> a job. You are a servant. This is the type of job I'd take if I had debt to owe to the boss. At first, I came in for the training which the restaurant didn't really teach much. Three dollars so an hour, myself. bro, that's not even work. Imagine, bro, three dollars. <laughs> bro, 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 check this, check this, check this. You work three dollars an hour. Say you work like eight hours, my, my guy. Say you work nine to five or something like that, right? You work eight hours or something, right? But nigga, you, you made $24. <laughs> but nigga, you made $24 that day. Okay, I had to check my math. $24 that day, bro. $24 that day. Imagine you work <laughs> and you work seven days a week. When are you not making no money? <laughs> oh, but customers were weird AF. I had to serve a group of friends that were senior citizens and they were showing pictures of their private parts to Ugh. each other in public. And I saw that while I was taking their order. More of the story, work somewhere non-food related, such as AutoZone, where I'm happy. Old people be weird sometimes. They're either the most intelligent, loving people you've ever met in your life or second to babies. All the old people I personally know are loving and intelligent though. You know, I love your grandma. But then I mean, there's sometimes those I'll old that people that be coming shit. up to me talking in gibberish like and I just gotta laugh it off like ah! I don't even know what they said. Yeah, old people be weird sometimes, but I'm glad that you freed yourself from the shackles of slavery and now work at autos. Three dollars an hour, that is I'm slavery, that my nigga. <laughs> Worked at a clinic around 18 years old, got paid in gift cards, co-worker got shot, and I see a patient myself once. Imagine having some kid come in asking you about your jaundice. The hell is a jaundice? You don't know jaundice, what jaundice is? A medical condition Please with don't put yellowing no pictures, of the bro. skin or whites of Please the eyes. Please don't put no niggas no fucking from jaundice, excess bro. of the pigment Billy Rubin and typically caused by obstruction of the bile duct. The hell is Billy Rubin? Billy Rubin, an orange yellow this pigment nigga formed Billy in Rubin. the liver by the breakdown of hemoglobin and excreted in bile. What the hell is a hemoglobin? Hemoglobin, a red Hemo protein responsible red. for transporting oxygen in the blood of viltrumites. Oh, okay. Working for any kind of politician gotta be one of the worst jobs, not gonna lie. I once got an internship for this dude I didn't know much about. And every day there'd be crazy people coming into his office screaming, holding signs with actual blood on them, making death threats, and just being altogether vile. I don't know if it's because the guy was Republican or something, but it traumatized me and made me never want to work in the private sector again. That's Honestly, wild. you didn't even have to tell me the numbers. I be thinking some of these niggas got to be lying, an honest bro. Politician, bro. I can almost guarantee that the higher on the ladder the politician is, the more likely First of all, first of all let's break that down. My nigga, so as a protest, you decided to use real blood. We don't know who blood it is, but use it as like a marker to put your message on the poster and you were like, uh, don't you think that's a little too much? I mean, I don't know what the nigga did, shit. He must have been a corrupt official. The nigga must have been like Trump or something. I don't know. <laughs> will be treated like garbage i just don't like the politics space in general because the more you look into it the more you're like damn man everybody a piece of shit, huh i would never want to work in that space unless i'm gonna be president i better be the president first law i'm the only dude on tinder all the girls have to swipe right on me 
Why the hell I still have no matches? One of my co-workers' <laughs> boyfriends started working with us recently. He got yelled at by a stupid <laughs> bitch manager. Oh my fucking god, I hate that stupid bitch! Anyways, the dude got yelled at by the manager and it got to the point where he freaking snapped at that He started insulting her, raising his voice to the point he turned red. The girlfriend tried to step in, pushing him to the side. He pushed her off and yelled, don't freaking touch me! <laughs> Another co-worker pulled up to stop him and that's where he went berserk. He was pushing him while yelling, I'm gonna kill you! You f the people in the restaurant had enough and tried to fight him because the majority of the staff and customers were Hispanic and Latino. He panicked and went outside locking the customers inside. He later got chased by two old Mexican folk with freaking machetes. Can you believe that? Machetes. Unfortunately, he got away. And is about you know to what? This fired. is actually so Why crazy. Why already fired, bro? That story is crazy. And by the sounds of it, you hate your manager too. Is your manager Chris Rock or Mahito from Jujutsu Kaisen? I don't know, man. Bro, crazy that is story. so similar to... I don't even know what to say. Just I got this work confession is kind of similar to that but i'll say it at the end of the video so Crazy. say, say when i was younger <laughs> i worked at mcdonald's it was painful and tiring and i ended up getting myself fired one day at 1 p.m i was making french fries till this guy named michael showed up he caused employees to freaking quit or get fired he messed up the employees work like putting food poisoning in it what today's was the most evil <laughs> Ever. He got up on the counter, put his pants down, including underwear, and then he started peeing while the Ugh. french fries were boiling. He told the manager that I peed in the french fries to let you know the cameras were broken and nobody was in the kitchen. Turns out Michael was the son of the manager and he believed Michael always. Damn. When I served the food to the customer, the customer said, it, it smelled like piss, which ended up me getting fired. But I would hate working with an employee like this and I would hate having a boss like this. Bosses mm -hmm. having nah, kids work fight. for them and then <laughs> obviously treating them them with more respect and bias just because they're their kids i mean like, shit i would just love because that's some bullshit i'm like bro, i'm telling like you the that. truth it just sounds too annoying i'm like shit i'm telling you the truth yo son pissing them damn fries not me shut out leave right now you ain't gotta fire me my nigga fuck because fuck y'all i'm telling you the truth my nigga you know what i'm saying i'm telling you the truth and the fact that you got fired for him peeing in the fries i would have just left sue sue I don't know what you're suing for, but sue. My name is McDonald's. What you suing for? One time when I was five and was still in China, my work master Just move gave on. me four more hours of work for messing up the seam on a poop emoji plushie. Trying to relate to my international audience. Share this video with Winnie the Pooh. I worked at a pizza place and when the customers were kind of rude, I would make sure to spit on that hoe. My coworker, on the other hand, would lay his balls on some pizza. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. I would do the same. I would do the same. Some of you guys working in fast food and doing disgusting things. Things to the person I do the same I, I can't even hold break, you. the worst teacher came in the drive through so we put fart spray on his burger I spat in this guy's burger for being an a-hole and it turns out the burger was for his kid and the kid ain't <laughs> my friend has a habit of sneaking rat poison in his the video bro. meals his ass hasn't been caught yet isn't that illegal you trying to kill your customers what kind of habit is that that guy is not normal he's a serial killer in the making I work at Wendy's I peed in somebody drink they thought it was pineapple spray oh. all right that one gotta be fake yeah. but that's not the point you guys are making me a little scared <laughs> to go to these fast food Sprite. chains because yeah, i can't read these be confessions real, i think half my food gonna be spat why your piss tastes like pineapple sprite rat poison in it y'all legit crazy but based on what i read most of the time it's just for customers that are kind of rude to them and honestly looking through their lens and perspective I, I could understand it. I'm not saying I would do the right same. I'm not lie, or anything. But if I were I that fast in food, food and you were rude to me when you're ordering your food, I might add a little extra sauce to your food. Like sometimes customers be tweaking at the employees at these fast food places the just because they got their order slightly wrong or the customer got an attitude at the start. Facts. Like I bet 95% of the time it's just gonna be normal customers saying normal orders, and then there'll be those one customers that be like, "You forgot the pickles, head ass," making a scene, yelling at you like you're not about to make their food in the back of the kitchen where they can't even see you you try to start a fight with me i'm gonna put a shrek twinkie that should in be so ass because it's like my nigga like, bro it ain't exactly even that deep like this person niggas, niggas, niggas right. be talking to you like you a Bojangles damn slave when i was 15 and a customer called one of my co-workers a rat because his chicken was taking too long so my dude fried a dead rat he kept in the freezer for a moment like this no one but me and him knows this see 
These people be waiting for moments like this, and I'd be one of them. If I'm working at Mickey D's and a customer start cussing at me, I prayed for times like this. I'm gonna put monkey brains in your burger. Honestly, I probably monkey be brains is people. crazy. Where you get that from? Like if I worked at Starbucks and someone asked for extra whipped cream on their iced coconut latte, I'm gonna be like extra whipped cream. Nah, I gotta dip my feet in your drink, bro. You're doing too much. If you had the opportunity to eat Bob's Burgers versus my bum's burgers, I reckon you take Bob's. My bum don't taste good. I would know. I've tried it. I worked at Starbucks in 2017 and I would put some pills in customers drinks around the holidays. No cap, I went to jail for two years and six months probation. The pills weren't any bad ones, just ones that made you feel good like dopamine. I got some psychopaths in my audience. So back then I used to work at a gas station in high school. The only reason I worked there cause it had good pay and my homie was working there too. So working at a gas station, I've seen a lot of crazy stuff go down. I've seen people get shot, stabbed, etc. So at that oh, point, yeah, working really at a gas surprised station. me until one day, me and my homie the gas were station corner store, jobs, yeah. I was rigging up customers and homie was sweeping until this guy came in, normal looking guy, asked for a pack of rhino pills. Nothing crazy, people rhino get pills. that all the time. Until I hear barking, so I don't think, think much of it until I see a full grown adult man walking on all fours. And I would have just, okay, what the heck, if it wasn't for the fact he had on a <laughs> dog mask on with a <laughs> belt. And it's not like he had pants on either. He walked in pair cheeks out and a bra on what the actual well, he on that is synthetic. happening right now <laughs> he on that so synthetic weed or something i don't know who's a good boy and pet him so at that point i left out like i, I was shocked i don't judge kinks but I'm gonna judge this one. You weird if you do this in public. You traumatized my homie right here. You was just trying to work at the gas station. You pull up in full Metal Gear style uniform for you and your partner to do those activities for everybody to see. Not everybody want to see that, bro. Leave that behind closed doors. For a short period of time, nah, I was working shit, at this so hardware I'll be traumatized store. too, and when I'm I not applied, gonna lie. My brother told me that the owner of the store is racist and I wasn't gonna get hired because I'm Muslim. And when I applied, I did notice that every single worker was white, but I ended up getting the job for some reason. My brother was pretty surprised. Turns out my brother was right that owner was racist every time i came into work and he was there he would always pat me down to make sure i didn't have any contract pat me on. down never once did i see him do that to any of the other workers and one day when i had gotten done cleaning the toilet for some nah, reason patting I'm someone down at work is crazy and you're the employee bro. <laughs> patting down the employee the only one getting that duty <coughs> I walked past his office Excuse and his door was slightly open. And I heard bro on the phone with someone and he was talking about how he didn't trust me. And he straight up said I was a <laughs> because I was Muslim. Oh. After that, I knew I needed to do some. So instead of quitting, I hit a brick of <laughs> inside his office when he wasn't at work. And where I live, that stuff is mad illegal. I then gave an anonymous tip to the police in our town and he got arrested <laughs> like a week later. I love him. Bro, that video. W. <laughs> Nigga. Nothing but a W, bro. The only other option I could have thought of is suing him. You know, that's my only other option i would have recorded him saying all that junk and i would have sued his ass or second option statements that my lawyer told me not to say so i won't say it but your idea pretty good nice someone said lebron was better than kevin durant that's because he is don't ever disrespect my little goat like that my little husband is never gonna be disrespected like that i've known this girl for more than four years and i like her i've known her since middle school i don't know i just really like her she already rejected me that's why i don't talk to her because she asked me not to, but I can't get over her. She just my first love. Pleading Nigga, you have to move on. Fate has it we now work together, and it's been more than a year since the last time I saw her, and she's uh been looking at me. <laughs> I've had a little glow up, so this isn't really confession. I just need advice from someone I love, enjoy, and respect. 100 emoji, 100 emoji, fire emoji, 100 emoji, fire emoji, 100 emoji. I am so glad you asked this question. I have the perfect answer for you. So first, you gotta do this. Okay, this next story is a little too crazy <laughs> to show any type of visuals for. So, in the meantime, I'm gonna read the story. And in your mind, I'll help you visualize everything that's happening. All right, babe. My sister's co-worker, Amy, got into a fight with this other co-worker, Jason, mm -hmm. because he spread a rumor that she injected her pee and poop into the burger package, uh. and they threatened to fire her over that until she kept denying it. So they went into the parking lot and started throwing hands. But what Jason didn't know is that Amy had put a plastic bag up her before they went into the parking lot. She took like six laxatives and then when they were fighting, she pooed her pants with wet diarrhea. Ugh. So after they were done fighting, Amy said, See if you can spread this around. And she reached into her pants. 
and pulled out the plastic bag. Hey, what's that? And it was one of those where you could zip it up shut. So the plan for her was to throw it at him, but for it to be closed. And she didn't close the bag before she threw it. Ooh. So she threw it and wet poo let it all over his face and clothes. Ew, what the hell? And wet Nigga, I would just, I would just die right then and there, bro. <laughs> poo landed on the people standing around them. And everyone stood there, frozen. Some of them were screaming in disgust. And a police car drove by. Then Amy booked it. Some people say they saw her in Alaska. All right, so this can't be true. What the hell? In California. The end. Who the fuck saw her in Alaska and y'all in California? She booked us to Alaska. I feel like that confession was on Shakespearean levels of drama. Any other day, this would be an amazing note to end on. But I have one more. And this one makes me feel like George. And if you take a lax, like six laxatives, you, how do you choose when you're gonna shit? You can't just choose. I'm just gonna shit like hell in this bag. Like what? Wrote this himself. So before I lay this story upon you, I just need to say this experience left me with mental scars to this day. So last year in 2022, it was a breezy and warm summer night shift at the Steak and Shake I was working at. It was okay. just me and my homie since the boss left early that shift. There wasn't any customers, so we were just chilling for the most part. Be like that. Suddenly, the front door slams open and enters a pregnant lady. But not any pregnant lady, for you see, she was in labor. We both stood there as she struggles her way to the counter, grasping onto her stomach. We're both a bit shaken from the sudden entrance, but I ask her, Ma'am, are you okay? She responds in an alarming tone. <laughs> Can you please take my order? My homie is just flabbergasted and slowly walks towards the kitchen. She in labor. She told me she didn't want some food. I feel my throat close up as I ask what she would like. <gasps> a bacon <sighs> and cheese double baked burger <sighs> with chocolate <sighs> milkshake. With heavy breaths between nearly each word, we quickly prepare to order for her in the kitchen while trying to contact our boss. He just wanted an answer. I don't know if his phone was dead or on do not disturb, but we just couldn't call the home. So we finished the order yeah, bro, bro, and rushed bro, back to the counter to see the lady laying on the ground straight up ready to give birth. Her she water break? Give me the food! And we do so. We try to calm her down and suggest we call an ambulance for her, but she says, I feel the triplets coming right now. Which just left me and my friend in a state triplets. of pure shock. She unwrapped her burger and started devouring it as we literally saw the baby pop out of her. Out of her pee pee area. Oh my God. And she was just pushing the poor kid out with all of her strength. She basically had to uh, undress herself on the bottom. There ain't no way. Kid out Man, they lying. <laughs> I felt so sick at that moment. I never wanted to see a pregnant woman unpants herself, but now I was forced to. Cause I literally had to help her give birth. Cut to 30 minutes later of this hell. 30 minutes of hearing her yell in pain as her newborn kids wailed out loud. Two of the three kids were born in that time. And the absolute imagine mess being, that was on the floor that she Imagine did. being it born in like a Shake Shack. Filled shake and burger <laughs> pieces combined with all that birth liquid. I was going to vomit. My homie was just done at this point and left minutes ago. Since it was the end of our shift. This cannot be real. There's no way she, the there's no way she gave birth on that floor. All the customers are gone. So finally, as she was taking a bite of her burger, we pulled out the last kid. It was finally over. The hellfire was finally over. The ambulance came real, and took the lady and her kids out of the restaurant. And I was asked about what happened from one of the paramedics. And I had to explain the situation while my hands were still shaking. Afterwards, I was the only one left there. Completely traumatized from that ordeal. I had to clean up what was left of her labor. Yeah. I remember walking home after that and crying on the sidewalk from how much damage that did to my conscious and mental state. Needless to say... I genuinely feel nothing but pure injury on my soul from that night. Love this your kids, God by be the lying. way. They're the only sense of joy I will ever feel in this unforgiven earth. A hey, great story. I'm not going to lie, but and it's a in story. Conclusion. Fable. Fiction. Merry Christmas. Or oh, wait, I'm late. Uh, Happy New Year. Bum, bitty, 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 bum. Um, nonetheless, this is an interesting and funny video. 
Uh, let me know what you guys thought about in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Peace.